I'm Tim. And I'm Billy. Together, Together we, we are Number Squad. We love solving number problems. Big or small. And we love helping our friends. <laughs> to make a soup that tastes sublime, pick ingredients that add up to nine. Mr Mango needs to add a total of nine ingredients to his magic soup. Which one should he use? I think we need to use adding to solve this. Adding means when we add numbers together, the total gets bigger. Numero can show us. Numero zero. Mr Mango needs to know which number of ingredients add together to make nine. Three add one equals four. Mr Mango needs nine ingredients, so it's not the tomato. Let's try again. Three plus six equals nine. That's it. He needs mushrooms and acorns. That's so number neat. Three mushrooms plus six acorns equals nine ingredients. Woohoo! Yippee! This soup really is sublime. Three, two, one. Problem gone. Thank you, number squad. No problem, Mr Mango. You can always count on number, number squad. squad. Hi, I'm Paula. I'm Tim. And I'm Billy. Together, Together we are Number Squad. We love solving number problems. Big or small. And we love helping our friends. My 12 o'clock concert has been brought forward by one hour. Brought forward by one hour? Are we already late? Shelley's concert was supposed to start at 12 o'clock, but it's been brought forward by one hour. That means it'll start one hour earlier. What time will Shelley's concert start? I think we need to use subtracting to solve this. Subtracting means to take away numbers. Numero can show us. Numero zero. Shelley was supposed to start her concert at 12 o'clock. If it starts one hour earlier, we need to take away one hour from 12. That means Shelley's concert will start at 11 o'clock instead. 12, take away one is 11. That's so number neat. It's 11 o'clock right now. Thanks, Number Squad. No problem, Shelley. Three, two, one, problem gone. Counting are busy. You can always count on Number, number Squad. Hi, I'm Paula. I'm Tim. And I'm Billy. Together, we are Number Squad. We love solving number problems. Big or small. And we love helping our friends. Captain Redbeard needs help opening the treasure chest. Why won't it open? Squawk! Open treasure! Their numbers are appearing in the same order and one is missing. We must find the missing number to open the treasure chest. I think we need to use a number pattern to solve this. Number pattern means numbers that repeat themselves in the same order. Numero can show us. Numero zero. Three, two, one. The missing number, two, one, three, two, one. There's a number pattern. The first three numbers are three, two, one. And the last three numbers are also three, two, one. So the numbers in the middle should also be three, two, one. The missing number in the pattern is a three. That's so number neat. Three, two, one. Three, two, one, problem gone. Yipper! Treasure! Treasure! Thanks for your help, Number Squad. No problem, Captain Redbeard. You can always count on Number, number squad. squad. Hi, I'm Paula. I'm Tim. And I'm Billy. Together, Together we are Number Squad. We love solving number problems. Big or small. And we love helping our friends. That's not right. This doesn't sound right either. Oh, I need these clumps to be arranged from small to big. Please help, Number Squad. Shelley needs to arrange the clumps in ascending order to play the right tune. 
Ascending means smallest to the biggest. Each clam has a number on it. Let's put the clams in order from the smallest to the biggest number. Numero can show us. Numero, zero. One is the smallest number. And eight is for the biggest number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The numbers are now in ascending order from smallest to biggest. That's so number neat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful. Three, two, one. Problem gone. Thanks, Number Squad. No problem, Shelley. You can always count on Number, number Squad. Hi, I'm Paula. I'm Tim. And I'm Billy. Together, Together we are Number, number Squad. <laughs> we love solving number problems. Big or small. And we love helping our friends. Seven steps forward, two step backward, ten steps forward, one step backward. They don't understand. How many steps should Captain Redbeard take to find the treasure? I think we need to use subtraction to solve this. Subtraction means to take away numbers to make the total smaller. Numero can show us. Numero zero. Captain Redbeard needs to walk seven steps forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And two steps backwards. One, two. Next, Redbeard needs to walk six steps forward and one step backward. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And one step backwards is ten. That means Captain Redbeard needs to take ten steps in total. That's so number neat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We found it! Three, two, one, problem gone! Thanks, Number Squad! No problem, Captain Redbeard! You can always count on Number, number squad. squad! Hi, I'm Paula! I'm Tim! And I'm Billy! Together, Together we are number, number Squad! We love solving number problems! Big or small! And we love helping our friends! All right, sheep, it's the cow's turn to graze now. Hurry, hay bales, they're getting away. Wolfie, round them up. <laughs> there are too many sheep. Farmer Haywire has 16 sheep. But Wolfie can only round up four sheep at a time. I think we need to use dividing to solve this. Dividing means to share fairly into equal amounts. Numero can show us. Numero, zero. Wolfie can count sheep in groups of four. Let's count the groups. One, One two, two, three, four. four. Four groups of four sheep makes four, eight, eight twelve, twelve, sixteen, sixteen sheep. That's so number neat. <laughs> Well done, Wolfie. Now time to get those cows here. Three, two, one, problem gone. Thanks, Number Squad. No problem, Farmer Haywire. You can always count on Number, number Squad. squad.